Hey guys, welcome to the 6th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the ellipse, point, and polygon tools. So first, we're going to look at the ellipse tool. And to create an ellipse, all you really need to do is select the ellipse tool, click on a point, and that will create the center point for your ellipse. Drag your cursor out, and this will create the width of your ellipse. Click again, and then move your cursor up, and that will create the height of your ellipse. Now I to make it easy all as you want. And then just click again to finish it off. And there you've created a list. Pretty easy. Um, the next tool that we're going to be looking at is the point tool. And all you really do is you click the point tool, click, and you create a point. And yeah, as stupid as that sounds, you will use that a lot when creating holes. Um, so the final tool that we have to look at is the polygon tool. And what the polygon tool will do is it will create a regular polygon, meaning that all the sides will be the same length. Now there are two types of polygons you have here, inscribed and circumscribed. Now inscribed means that if you had a circle um, around this polygon, that all the points of this polygon would be on the circumference of the circle. And circumscribed means that uh, if you had a circle within the polygon, that all of the sides of the polygon would be tangent to the circle. So the first one we're going to be looking at is uh, inscribed, and for what we're doing, these two are pretty similar. Um, so uh, right in this box right here, you can choose the number of sides for your polygon. Um, I'll just leave it as 8, which will create an octagon. So now we click, and that will be the center point of our polygon and we move out. And the real difference between inscribed and circumscribed here is that when you um, like finally uh, click, your last click will be on, the, uh, on one of the vertices of your polygon. Now for a circumscribed circle, I'll just make it like six sides I guess, create a hexagon, and um, once again we click, create the center point of our polygon, and then when we move out as you can see, um, the cursor is on the midpoint of one of the sides. And there, you have created polygon. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, um, just talk to me in AIM. My AIM is ITZ Adam 5. So, yep, see you guys.